Hi you guys, welcome back to my channel. I hope you enjoyed the previous video where I talked to you about all sorts of primers that are available in the market and which one is best for you. So if you're enjoying these series, please don't forget to give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel for more. But today I'm going to be talking to you about my top 10 favorite primers that are available in India that I feel like are the best of the best. I have so many primers you guys i feel like i have like 40 50 primers in my drawer right now so i have tried so many products and after that i can tell you that these are some of the best ones that are available in india in all sorts of budgets so if you're interested please keep on watching so the first primers I'm going to talk about are pore filling primers and I think the first one that I fell in love with that still stands the test of time and it's absolutely fabulous is the L'Oreal Base Magic. I've had this for so long, my print has rubbed off and things but this primer is just fabulous. It totally blurs out your pores. If you have oily skin, combination skin, you're going to absolutely love this. This is fabulous. And I basically have used all of it up at this point. There's only a very small amount left. So you can see it completely blurs out everything and gives you the smoothest surface that you can imagine. If you have large pores and if you want a very smooth, even surface, something that fills in your pores, this is perfect. But just remember that this is very heavy duty. I wouldn't recommend dry skin people to use this. I think this is great for combo to oily skin only. Another primer that is pore filling but is great for normal skin and dry skin, even combo skin, whatever your skin type is, you can use this primer. This is not going to be as mattifying but this is also a very nice affordable pore filling primer that is basically good for all skin types. So this one is also super pore filling but it's not as like mattifying as the L'Oreal one. This one is more like nourishing this one has a little more give so if you have dry skin and large pores which is usually a rare combination because oily skin people tend to have larger pores but if you have dry skin and you have larger pores and you want to cover them up and you want to create an even smooth surface then check out the sugar most eligible primer <laughs> it's a difficult name to say it's kind of like a tongue twister the most eligible smoothing primer so that's that that's the sugar primer one pore filler primer that I see myself continuously repurchasing and I actually have a backup of this already. This is the NYX pore filler. This one is almost empty. I have used this up and I love this so much. It's a very heavy duty pore filling primer. I feel like this one is just a little more pore filling than the sugar one which does a pretty good job by itself. You will probably not notice a huge difference between these two. I do because I'm crazy like that but you know you probably don't need both of them but I wanted to mention this because if you have a slightly larger budget then you would probably want to try this one because the pore filling experience you get from this is unparalleled I feel like the L'Oreal and this they are pretty close this one again is not as drying as the L'Oreal base magic which I recommend for oily skin this I would recommend for all skin types this is a fabulous pore primer but again, this one is almost double the price of the sugar one, so take your pick. Another pore filling primer that I have been enjoying and loving so much and it's unique. There's almost nothing else like this on the market that I have personally experienced. This is by Benefit and this is their Pore Fashional Pearl. Now they have their original Pore Fashional in the green packaging which is almost the same thing as the NYX Pore Primer. I feel like the Benefit Pore Fashional Primer and the NYX next wow <laughs> and the next pore primer like dupes of each other because they're so similar but the professional pearl has something special because this has all the pore filling properties but it has shimmer in it so it doesn't make your face look dead and dull you know what i mean it gives like a more youthful appearance so if you have dry skin and larger pores and a bigger budget definitely check this out because this is awesome it's gonna make your skin look super dewy and healthy but it's also gonna fill your pores so i'm gonna show you it's definitely gonna cancel out any large pores but there's a little bit of a sheen there which looks beautiful under foundation it's a little difficult to see these little things on camera but they give you a very nice radiant effect on the face especially underneath foundation. So those were all of my favorite pore filling primers in all sorts of budgets. Now I want to talk about sticky hydrating primers and my absolute favorite one is from Too Faced. Now this is the Too Faced hangover primer. This is the primer I pick out when I 
I film at night, you guys. So if you hear my Chogi Daki CD, just remember that I'm filming at like 3 a.m. I think, what's the time right now? It is 2.42 a.m. right now. The Too Faced Hangover Primer is absolutely awesome. It just looks like a white cream kind of which you just blend into your skin and it gives you the most hydrated nourished look like you drink your water and you take care of your skin you take your vitamins and you do all of that stuff so if you have dehydrated dull skin definitely try to get a hydrating primer that's gonna look nice underneath your foundation it's also a little bit sticky so it's going to help your foundation stick better and hold on to your face but if you have oily combo skin you can give these primers unless you don't need them if you have dry skin you can use your moisturizer you don't need such primers as well but if you want to add these into your routine they're gonna do some good I love it I love the smell I love like the texture and the feel of it I love that it's a little sticky and my foundation will stick <laughs> love. another one I love for a similar purpose is the NYX honey dew me up primer I I'm so mind blown by this primer. This is so good. It actually comes with a spatula that looks like honey. Do you see the gooey, sticky consistency of this primer? Don't get put off by that because this is fabulous. This is going to hold on your makeup for the entire day. And on dry days, when I feel like my skin is a little bit dry, what I like to do is I like to do a pore filling primer. So I think I'll most likely do my NYX pore filler primer because this is almost over. So I like to do this pore filler primer in my T-zone. And then for the rest of my face, I like to go over with the NYX Honey Dew Me Up Primer. Sometimes I'll even go over my T-zone after I do my pore filling primer depending upon how my skin is feeling on that day. But this primer is so good. It's gonna make your skin look super glowy. Your foundation is gonna glide beautifully. It's gonna look awesome. And it also contains this little shimmer particles which they don't really translate to the face. But the consistency of the primer is absolutely awesome. It's sticky, it'll hold your foundation. The next type of primers I want to talk to you about are strobe creams. Now, the MAC strobe cream, I have to talk about this because this is one of those culled favorite products that are OG holy grail products for a reason because there's nothing like this. It's awesome, okay? <laughs> the prices have exorbitantly increased. I remember this being 1900 rupees when I used to get it back in the day and now this is 3200 rupees. So you are going to decide your budget. I am going to recommend you products. <laughs> but I still think it's worth it. There's nothing like it. It's a very beautiful moisturizing cream with some shimmer particles running through it. It has this kind of, you know, thick cream kind of consistency which just makes your skin look super goddess-like and glossy and nourished and just glazed and beautiful. So if that's the look you want, you should go for this. If you have dry, dull skin, you want to apply something like this. This will give a lot of life to your face and just bring back the youth and the glowiness that you're looking for. Great to wear by itself. If you just, you know, want to have no makeup days and you just want to do a little bit of pore filling and you just want to make your skin look a little glowy, great to wear on no makeup days and also great to mix with your foundation. You can also wear this under your foundation. So strobe creams are awesome. But if you have oily skin that is a little bit dull and you want your cheeks to look glowy, you just want to apply a little bit of strobe cream on your cheeks to wear under your foundation and you can have your pore filling primer in this area and strobe cream in this area. You know, you have to work with what your face needs. You have to find out what your needs are and then pick and choose products that are going to be perfect for you. Another strobe cream that I love is by NYX. This is the NYX Away We Glow Strobe Cream. It's a little bit thicker than the MAC one so the consistency is not as moisturizing as the MAC one. So if you have oily skin and you want a strobing cream, I would recommend you the NYX one over the MAC one. I feel like the MAC one is just better for dry skin. This one is also a little more glowy than the MAC one. The MAC one is more like, you know, naturally lit from within kind of glow whereas this is a strobe cream. So. This is the next one and I absolutely love it. Great for all skin types. But if you have oily skin and you still want to use a strobe cream, you can try this one out. They also have different undertones. So there's a pink one, there's a gold one. If you have a pink undertone, you want to go for a pinky strobe cream. If you have a yellow undertone, you want to go for the golden version. Because MAC strobe cream also has a gold version, a pink version and, and so on. So go according to your undertone. If you have a yellow undertone, 
pick up a stroke cream with a gold finish. It's just gonna be better for your skin. The last kind of primers I'm gonna talk about are oils, of course. My favorite, favorite one is the PAC Studio Finish Primer Oil. I think this is so inexpensive. Considering how awesome and budget friendly this is, this is one of the best oils out there. You can mix it with your foundation. You can apply it on your skin before you apply your foundation. So if you have incredibly dry skin and you just need something that's not gonna make your makeup look patchy, everything is gonna glide on beautifully over it and blend amazingly. If you do a lot of cream work, so you do a lot of cream contour and cream blend, and cream highlight and all of that they will look much better if you have an oil primer underneath because this just makes blending so easy and if you have a matte foundation and you want it to be a little more dewy you can mix an oil primer with your foundation to create a dewy foundation so it's like a magical product that's gonna do a lot for you so I love the pack one but I also really like this one. This is from the Beauty Co. and this is their Rose Gold Oil. Even the Indulgio oils that you use on your face, you can mix them with your foundation and you can use them as oil primers. And you know, face oils can be also used as oil primers. All the face oils that you have, you can use them as oil primers. But if you want to get a specific oil primer, then you should get either the pack one or I think the Beauty Co. one is also really nice. This has a little bit of shimmer, so you need to shake it up before you use it. And it has a ton of gold shimmer. It just makes your face look really hydrated and glowy and glossy and beautiful. <laughs> The last kind of primer I wanted to mention are these spray primers. So you might be hearing a lot about primer waters and you know spray this makeup setting spray before you apply your makeup and all of that which you can basically do that with most makeup setting sprays that are not like targeted mattifying makeup setting sprays. You can use all of them before you do your makeup to just give your skin an extra spruce of hydration and nourishment to begin your makeup but I feel like this is one of the best ones I've tried so many in all price ranges so I'm talking about this one because of how affordable this is and how awesome this is I really like their fixation makeup setting spray as well but this is the rejuvenating lightweight lotion and it comes in a spray form and I just like to spray this sometimes on my face before I put my makeup on and it just gives you a boost of hydration and nourishment before you put your makeup on and if you have dry skin you can also use this as a makeup setting spray if you have oily skin you probably want to look into the fixation one but we're not talking about makeup setting sprays today we're talking about primers so I feel like this one is a better primer and if you want a spray primer that is easy to use that's gonna nourish your skin obviously it's not gonna fill in your pores but it's gonna be very nice and hydrating and nourishing so check out the pack one and that's all she wrote those are all of my favorite primers let me know if you've tried any of these and what your thoughts are about them in the comments down below any other primers that you love that i should try maybe i'll give it a try if you guys recommend i'd love to know your recommendations as well and thank you so much for watching you guys i hope you're enjoying the series and there are going to be so many more videos coming soon so tag everyone tag your family tag your friends because free makeup classes are awesome for everyone and I'm here recommending fabulous products to you guys so let's help everyone let's help each other grow and subscribe to my channel if you haven't subscribed already it means so much to me join the fam you guys also if you're not following me on Instagram you're missing out on so much content there's so much on Instagram that is not posted on YouTube because there's variety in content you guys there's a lot of fashion on Instagram so if you like fashion check out my Instagram. <laughs> also don't forget to check out my website karvarya.com to shop my clothing line. The top that I'm wearing right now is also from my brand. Thank you so much for watching you guys. I love you. I'm gonna see you super soon in my next one. Bye bye.